I went to live in Germany and work for a social enterprise called the Do School in Germany. I was particularly interested in them because they are actually trying to create a program that offers an alternative to the traditional MBA program. So after completing that, my journey took some twists and turns and I didn't do any other further work placements in that sense. I went on a number of different courses all over the world. I learned to be a coach. I've learned to be a yoga teacher. Um, I There's an organization called the Presencing Institute based out of MIT in Boston. I trained with them. I did some foundational training in a form of psychoanalysis. And really then at that stage, I started to see that a whole picture was building up around uh, alternative therapies, holistic well-being. Once I had decided, not necessarily to take a year off, so I, I chunked it down, rather than, oh my God, I need the money for an entire year, it was, I know that if I don't take this time now for myself, there is potential that I can be earning money for the rest of my life and never being satisfied. So I'm going to start here. If you are authentic in the way that you ask people, so I wrote an email knowing I was going to Hamburg to all of my friends and family saying, I know no one in this city. I have no money to pay rent. Do any of you have contacts in Germany? Fascinating. Within two days, I had four different offers of places to stay. And I genuinely believe it's because I came from a place of what I now call right action, where it was the right place for me to be in. I was coming with the right attitude and therefore the world did provide. And that's not to say that it, it always does. And I haven't lived a hugely luxurious lifestyle. But yes, I did have some money to be able to pay for the flights to go to different places. And I have a partner who's also supported me through it as well. I think at its deepest level, I was wrestling with being brave enough to really understand what my truth is. So by that, I mean that for many, many years, I had created a certain set of identities for myself. I had woven a whole bunch of different stories about who I am, why I do what I do, what kind of friend I am, what kind of family member I am, who I am out in the world. And I'd never stopped to question whether that was actually real. And so I think in that really dark time, it was delving into the fear of the unknown because I, I knew somehow that in order to get to that place of the next step of really creating the shift into doing something different, I had to be able to make the choice to let go of a whole bunch of stuff. And yet, it's terrifying to let go of identities that supposedly in your own head you think ground you. So I had set myself up in my head as somebody who earns a full-time salary, somebody who prides themselves on being able to answer when you say, what do you do, Ella, that I have an answer for you. Um, somebody who is very well educated and therefore should go into X type of job. Um, and all of that, so it was, that was what I was really, really working with was the complete fear that I didn't know who I was without all of that. And then also to see not like, it wasn't, it wasn't a case of that's the old Ella she's out, then the new Ella comes in. But really, what is the truth? What do I need and want and value? And actually, what, had, what have I just taken on because I felt I should? Um, 
because I was too scared to question other otherwise. And, and also another thing as I think, as I talk out loud is, um, a real fear of taking responsibility for myself, which I'm not actually sure how many people really do look and think about what is my genuine responsibility for myself and my place here in the world. And I didn't answer that question in that moment, but it was really what I was looking at that I then carried forward. I can truly sense in myself, what does it feel like when emotionally, physically, mentally, you know that you have, are on the right path. And that actually, but now if people want to come and ask questions and go, you know, acupuncture, what's that? Or that's very different to what you were doing before, really. Um, or a lot of people will say acupuncture, I think it's a whole load of rubbish. It doesn't sway me off my choice. Whereas I know from before that every time when I was unsure and someone gave me a little prod, I would just go all over the place for years and years and years. And again, I think that comes back to the fact that it was never truly my choice. I was too affected by everybody else and not strong enough in, in myself. Do I very regularly find this hard? find it hard to keep on the path that I am yes because it's still pretty different from a lot of other people it's uh, not necessarily that predictable it does require me to continually tap into um, looking at when fear starts to take over uh, looking at how often I do then have a wobble and compare myself to other people, looking at making very different choices, life choices. I've made it, uh, financially, I am very unlikely to earn the amount that I would have done if I had stayed in a city job. Sometimes that scares me, yeah. But not, not enough to not do what I'm doing. And it truly, um, feel so grateful because I now have the benefit of knowing how in a year I could genuinely change my life. I mean, I really, really have done. And I would wish for nothing other than that for every other person that has struggled with the same questions as me. And the answer isn't, and I'm very aware of my own story, that it's you know, came from over here and then ended up in some people could say touchy, feely world, hippie, alternative therapies. That actually just is my path, which I wrestled with. It could equally have been that I chose that to come back and pursue the dream of being a management consultant. And how fantastic if that was what I really wanted to do. I really don't believe that the world was set up for us to go through being in dis-ease, being in a place of fear. And I genuinely believe and personally now know from my own path that it is absolutely joyous and amazing the rewards that you reap from starting to be authentic and true to who you really are. And that doesn't, doesn't take taking a year off to go all over the world to do. It can take just starting to make a few very small changes in your own daily life anyway. But I, um, I would encourage everybody to really truly think about what their responsibilities are in the world and what they most love. Because if you're doing what you love, then you can do it for the rest of your life. How great if everyone could start thinking now about, you know, why they're here, what do they love to do, what's their contribution in the world, etc. Before being forced to. Wow.